Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, today on your average roofer I'm going to be going over my new truck and trailer setup. Let's get right to it. Okay, so first things first that I want to go over, I put the new logos on the truck here. Uh, I got the free estimates. I got my own logo down there, the Hobson Roofing. And telephone number, which was already here. As you can see, I removed everything off the window like I said I was going to. Um, the thing about these logos is that I didn't actually pay anyone to do them for me. I did them all myself. The logos that you see on the truck cost me less than $20. Um, I was fortunate enough that my wife actually has a cricket machine so we can actually cut stuff like that out but not everybody's going to have that um, at home but most people will have a friend or family member or a neighbor or somebody that they know that can actually make your decals cheap so guys don't think you have to go out and spend fifteen hundred dollars on a vinyl wrap for your truck because i'm telling you right now you don't have to um, the next thing i got for my truck here is this toolbox the reason I got that is because you guys saw how disorganized this, the box of my truck was before. Um, and I wanted to clean it up, which all those bins that were in the front there, which you can see right here, are now all of, all inside here. They're safe, protected, locked. They're, nobody can get into this thing, which now secures all my assets. Um, some of this stuff is going to go, like obviously the jacks are going to end up in the side of the dump trailer along the, the bars there. Um, so those are going to be out of here. Um, that way I have room for actually carrying some materials in here, which won't happen very often um, because I now have the trailer, like I said. So, and as you guys can see, I went over... Um, uh, uh, <laughs> Today, Junior? <laughs> I went over. I got rid of the back rack for my truck. Ended up getting the full contractor's rack. It's a thousand pound rack. Right now I only have one ladder on it, but there will be two ladders. And then the other side will be full of planks. And then if I have to carry troughs or anything like that, I definitely have the room to um, do that, which makes life a lot more convenient, a lot easier. And uh, it just looks a lot cleaner on the truck. I don't know. Um, but then here we come to the trailer, which is just recently purchased. Um, and I actually have it locked. <laughs> but this is a three and a half ton Miska dump trailer. Um, again, I'll plug their merch here. Their merch or advertisement, whatever you want to call it. But this is a three and a half ton dump trailer. I believe it's ten and a half feet by five feet or something like that. And I uh, finally got the boards in here just to make the walls a little bit taller. Makes it a little bit easier, nicer. Um, personally, I don't like loading up to the very top of my trailer. That way I can keep the load secure. Nothing can blow out as long as you keep it down below these. So basically, I use these boards of the marker. I try to fill to here. This is just extra in case you need it. Normally, I try not to fill it that full. But uh, that's basically it for the truck setup. Do one quick walk around so you guys can see the whole thing. And all I got for here is just the uh, barn doors. I don't have the kick out or anything. I mean, I, I do use this trailer to deliver stone and sod and mulch and stuff like that. Um, but the barn doors is all you need for that. I'm not really doing driveways where I'm laying it out um, to grade it for them. If I am doing that, I would rather just buy a machine and uh, dump it in one spot and then spread it that way. That way, you know, you're getting a even consistent uh, coat um i know some guys can do it with their trailer where they just kind of kick it out the four inches or whatever but i don't i don't know what that tailgate's called but they can kick it out four inches and then drive and dump but i don't have that anyways there's the rest of the truck 
with the ladder rack. And that's it for my new setup, guys. So guys, there it is. There's my new truck and trailer setup. Remember guys, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Whew.